are back again. You got the show. Prime Sports Extra. Enjoy Prime. My name is Daniel Cranton. Charlie, this week has been good. This week has been good, especially for my Manchester United people. This week has been good. And we don't delay. Time no day. We identify you, we want you, we call, we take you, we buy. Quick, 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 quick. Yoru. Yoru and Zexi. Incoming. Ugati. Then we go and buy Mbappe. Then we buy Enric. Then we, Charlie, we are everybody. Everybody. Once we like you, we are buying you. Quick. This is Prime Force Extra. Uh, it's brought to you by Kivo.1 Guy Mix. Charlie, if you come back, I'll tell you some story about Kivo. Hey, uh, Kivo. Hey, Kivo. Oh, Charlie. Thank you. So you know what? Let's take a quick break. We'll be back. Brace up for the official launch of Africa's biggest DJ event, the Guinness Ghana DJ Awards, live on Joy Prime TV. Saturday, 20th of July, 6.30 p.m. Bigger and better than ever. The Guinness Ghana DJ Awards, sponsored by Guinness Ghana and powered by Smirnoff. Also sponsored by... Okay, okay, okay. Media Partners, the 2024 Guinness Ghana DJ Awards. United. 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 You, why are you going to play? Ah! You see how they do this thing? You, why are you going to play? You see how they do this thing? Because you can't buy any... You see how they do this thing? This you can't buy any... I'm going to hear where they are coming from Europa. This week, eh? You know, eh? just, just show you, say, if you are big, you are big. You are big. No, you don't... You are big, you are big. You don't... You don't do all of this project nonsense no, 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 and no, 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 no. 80, so 80 so prospects, ah. then... It's I'm out for uh, look, bro. Pe my people, li listen to why they are saying United is big. Because United has gone to sign a certain Lenny Yoro. Mo ain't kind of crow crow mouth. Yoro. Lenny Yoro. Go go Yoro. They've gone to sign. What yo, did he do? Have you heard the name before? At the middle name. Lenny Yoro. Because at of that, they are big. Yo yo, hold on, hold. At the middle name. Because of Lenny Yoro, is that if you are big, you are Young big. Young man. At the, the middle name. name. Lenny Dogo. Dogo Yoru. Yoru. Oh. Dogo Yoru, that's it. Because of a certain Lenny Dogo Yoru, they yes. say they are big. Yes. 
talk? Well, you go talk. They are the ones. Oh, they will talk. They are the ones we snatch. They go silent in Euro go play Europa. They say they are the ones we snatch Euro. Oh, when when Mbappe met Euro last season, we saw who. Oh, Charlie, Charlie. We saw who was boss. Can you imagine? See. They are going to play Europa. Hey, team now start. Team now set. I mean, unbelievable. Is the manner in man which he yeah, ah. did this? That is what. This is squad. Is that. <laughs> Look. Look. United are not. Squad. Oh, Euro. Euro. Don't go. Euro. Euro. Oh, Charlie. My player is Euro. Star boy Euro. Hey. But Madrid and Shaw. You ain't seen ah. that yet, man. Madrid and Shaw. You chased player for two years, sir. Uh, then Come somebody. Two years. You can't get it. You, you go, you go take Lenny. You say, Lord, Le can I get some song B? Mm. P.O.P. Mm -hmm. And P.O.P. Mm -hmm. That'd be Madrid. <laughs> then, chase the, then chase the baby girl for two solid years. <laughs> don't know if you talk talking anything. United come out, then, then pay the release clause. Pa. Charlie, guys, you they see the United squad. The same players, so one Bisaka, one and Namor. Ah, Jaden Sancho. They are still there. Jaden Sancho. Star they, boy Sancho. Thank you. The, players, Nani, oh. these are all the players. Oh. They want to take top Europe, and they have all this. Oh, 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 This game, oh, 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 Maguire, they there, oh. Messi, man. So, you know, the players, you know that, too. Oh. They read them for someone here. See, there are levels <laughs> to this game. You know why? This guy is... Hey. You know, when he said, Omwani, oh, they were on his own. Eh? Give me the guy on the screen. <laughs> sexy, sexy. Oh, Chale. <laughs> give it to me, give it to me. Sexy, sexy. Oh, Chale. You know, see, you know what? Ah. You know what? See, this guy, you say this guy, Charlie. See, hey, see. Ah, but you don't say you win Champions League. See, oh, you get Champions League trophy. You get Champions League trophy. See, hey. Oh, sexy, sexy. You play. Charlie, we see some before. People play piano for United. Yeah. No, you do some before where you Then play piano. Players buy it. Can't play piano for who, United. Who, who play piano? Then can't play piano. Who play piano for United? Tell me. I'm going to play piano here. Bang, 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 bang. Zexy. What's that? So United fans know better. They know that this right is there. Right now. They just for relax. They shake. They just for relax. They shake. So, right now, if you are moving, we you know, you are moving to say, oh, mm. baby girl, you are so sexy. Sexy, sexy, sexy. You are so sexy. <laughs> this is they don't, they, the ladies no longer, when you do well, you know in the past they used to call the men Zadi mm -hmm. or Zazi. These day. days, when you do well, they call you sexy. 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 So sexy. But for real, United, United Spolo, Charlie, they say oh sexy, God. they say Lenny Dogo. Ah. Yeah, they say, no, they, they, they say the team set. Ronaldinho hey. and sexy. United Spolo. Oh, oh, Charlie, team, team, team. Oh, anyway, how you go do that? If you're a manager like that, don't you know so? Yeah, for manager. No, but actually, you tell me something. Yeah, for manager. Dogo Euro and sexy, sexy. Oh, what do they bring to oh, United? A lot. Mm. In fact, the move itself shows a departure from what was before. In the past, United would have dilly-dallied and ended up paying some astronomical figures for both players. This time around, they have people who know their job, identify the player, walk in there, and find the best way of making the deal happen. So, Zexy had a release clause of about 40 million euros, and per convention, release clause, you cash down. No installments nonsense. You just make pay in one installment. But United decided that, you know what, because of cash flow issues, they will pay a little more than the release clause. That would allow them to spread the payments over years, which is the norm anyway in regular transfer business. So they probably would have to pay 15 million pounds for the first year, another 15, and then some extra 12 million. Because the only the difference between the release clause and how much United negotiated for is actually 2 million, which is quite remarkable. For Lenny Euro, yes, it's, it is true that he's got only a year remaining on his contract, and so... The 52 million pounds sounds like a lot, but you have to look at the two scenarios of the two clubs who were interested in him. Real Madrid have got their team set now. Yes, they have only two fit centre-backs as we speak in Militao and then Rudiger. Alaba is injured, they transferred Rafa Marin, so they essentially would have to spend, if not this summer, but maybe in January or in the summer of 2025 on a centre-back. But they realise that it is not exactly a priority situation. They can manage with four centre-backs. Eventually, Alaba is going to be fit. Chormeni deputised in centre-backs some, at some points last season. And so you can understand why they wanted to pay 20 million. Um, even, and 
even though they really wanted the player. I mean, there's a kid. Last year, they told him not to sign a contract extension. He agreed to join Real Madrid. But if you're Manchester United and you are in the position to sign, and you see, this was a market opportunity. He's not just another good player who was available. This is a generational talent for all intents and purposes. You realize that you've got a need there at right center back. You've lost Varane, a lot of experience, a lot of quality. This is fixing the mistake they made some eight, ten years ago when they missed out on another French center back, Rafa Varane, when he joined Real Madrid. You're paying that amount. He's very young. He would have time to grow. First year or two may not exactly be world class, but that's the point of having an 18-year-old. And for someone his age, at the age of 18, to have 65 matches under his belt in the French Liga over the two seasons, he's averaging 30 league matches per season, which is not normal. I mean, th those are numbers of experienced campaigners. In terms of what the two bring, Euro is a direct replacement for Rafael Varane and an improvement on Rafael Varane because Varane was hardly available last season. Mm. And in football, the most important commodity these days is availability. Yeah. So he's, he has a better fitness record. He's very calm at the back, excellent anticipation, tidy tackler. And for a man of his size and height, very agile and athletic. I mean, you, you would assume that because of his height, he might not be very quick, but he's very quick. Zegzi is more or less a replacement for Anthony Marcel, very comfortable on the ball, can also chip in goals, but he's not your guy if you're looking for uh, the prototypical centre forward who scored 20 or 30 goals. Last season, from a, a supporting striker role, he scored about 12 goals in all competitions, which is decent, but the expectation is that he would step up. Does he solve Manchester United's goals, goal scoring problems? No, but that is, on the average, 12 more goals they are adding to the team. And if you asked any Manchester United fan that, at the start of the summer, their first signing is going to be someone who will guarantee them some 10 goals at the end of the season. I'm sure they will take it. Mm, 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 mm. Zegzi. During the video, uh, this thing, I saw uh, Zegzi Mama. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> he took a picture with his family. Yeah. yeah. And I saw brother Zegzi and Zegzi Mama. Very grounded guy. You know what's up. Serious. Family man. You know serious what's up. guy. It's interesting how Eric Ten Hag appears to be uh, appears to be really uh, you know he, he seemed to have a good interest in some of these Dutch players you know mm. and um, it does appear that he, he monitors a lot of the Dutch players and for Zegzi like as you said you're not going to express so much goals for me but I'll just recognize <coughs> the chances he's created you know at Bologna fantastic about 43 chances created in the period that he was there last season. And for Rasmus Hoseland, one of the issues that we had, he had last season was players finding him. Yeah. And if you got somebody like Zezzi playing behind Rasmus Hoseland, I think it's going to benefit a lot from him. Is that a quick you know? question? What is yeah. Chelsea doing in the market? Uh, Chelsea at the moment, of course, we are just trying to get the whole <laughs> squad together because we've signed a lot of players at the moment. You know Chelsea? You have space at Coburn for them? Yeah, we have space. A lot of the players all are going to go alone. Uh, we've already started making plans to have some of them go alone. Leslie Ugochuku is going to go So alone. you don't have space. They are that's Premier clubs. That's why you're forcing some of them out. No, it's not like... Yeah, I mean, obviously, you can't have all the players. You have to need to have a certain number of squad. And some of the players are young players with great potential. And what's really interesting is that there are a number of top clubs who are interested in some of these young players. <laughs> I mean, Leslie Ugochuku, for instance. Leslie Ugochuku, for instance. Is wanted by some top Premier League clubs, you know, mm -hmm. and he's looking to play regularly, and he's most likely going to get it in England and in 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 uh, what's called Germany. We understand he's going to go on loan there, and Stavio, for instance, is another really talented player who's looking to come in and impress. Magui, whom we got from Barcelona, we understand Enzo Maresca is looking at giving him uh, one loan away uh, in the Spanish La Liga. We understand mm -hmm. Sevilla is interested, and if he goes there, gets <laughs> the you know the grounding and is able to come back, he will impress. I mean, already we, we seem to have the, the entire squad in place at the moment. We don't know of any player that is injured and still recovering. Enzo is going to come from the Copa America. I mean, Rhys James is back. He's fit. Uh, Wesley Fofana is back. He's fit. You know, uh, name them. Nkunku is back. He's fit. You know, uh, at the moment, we're just trying to get a striker. We understand we are still in talk with Samu, Atletico Madrid striker. Mm -hmm. It looks certain that we might get him. Atletico Madrid are dragging their feet a bit, but we might get him. And hopefully, if we get him in partnership with Nicolas Jackson, we can do something. We don't have so much pressure on ourselves. It's conference league we are playing. Then we have Premier League football and FA Cup. So um, the hope is that we can play Champions League football come next conference season. Conference league. 
And I think you are skipping. Is, you are skipping Europa League straight to Champions League. Yeah, we want to play Champions League next season. The target is to qualify for Champions League, you know. And I'm sure that was your target. And you ended up, you know, luckily for you, Manchester City messed up, and you got the chance luckily. to play Europa League. So I think Chelsea, <laughs> we have a good project. There's no doubt about that. We just need a few more signings. And oh, dear. Importantly, is a striking, you know, department. We need to work on that, and we are, we are set. For defense, it looks decent at the moment. Uh, the guy we got from Fulham for free, fantastic guy. I've just watched him. <laughs> Vega, you seen Vega? The Vega guy, Renato Vega, we got. Absolutely phenomenal player. Play left back, can play centre back, can play defensive midfielder. This is quality, and that's what Chelsea is doing. So we are ready for the season. He's ready we now. Are, we are. He's we are not. We are, well, he's ready now. He's not a prospect. No, he's. Ah. The guy, you know, see him, the growl. The growl. You know, see Vega, the. Or see Rasmus, or whatever, anyway, you don't know. The growl. So, yeah, Chelsea League said, um, you know, uh, we're getting ready. It's just, just unfortunate what has happened, you know, late into the racist channel. I'm sure we'll get to talk about it. It seems to have settled the team a bit, but hopefully everything will come down and we can be ready. Your players are fighting. You, let's, let's take yeah. some messages. Your players are there, they are fighting. Let's take some minutes. You are saying you are ready for the season. You are your players. Oh, no, no. That, that matter, I know we're anything. We go sort them out. So issues happen. Every club, there are issues, right? We'll deal with it. If it matter, we'll deal with it. Try, let's we'll see with some messages and then we'll, we'll shift to the big boss. The big boss. Killian mm. Mbappé. Killian. Killian Mbappé. is killing. Kill Italy. <laughs> In fact, let me hear from Manchester United fans. How happy are you? How we are signing everybody left, right, center. And then Chelsea fans too. How sad are you? <laughs> Now you are signing second string players you've never heard in your life before. You will let me know. Vega, get growl. You know who plays him. He has gone on loan to this team. No, Strasbourg. He, 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 he can't play. Straight up. Straight up. He, he can't play. Straight up. No, no, no. I mean, let's look at Kili Kili. The, 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 the unveiling of Kili Kili, a.k.a. Kylian Mbappe. These are the people who deserve to be celebrating and be saying, I said, let's start it. Don't be sexy. At the end. <laughs> Let's watch Mbappe. Proper unveiling. Ah, correct player. Ha cambiado el escenario, pero pocas cosas más. Hoy damos la bienvenida. Hoy damos la bienvenida. A Cristiano Ronaldo. A Kylian Mbappé. Una salida al campo idéntica. Con ese giro hacia la grada y el 9 en la espalda. Con la felicidad en su rostro. Aplausos y pulgares arriba. Aplausos y pulgares arriba. Y el Bernabéu rendido. Está lleno so, solo para me ver. No hay gratuito. Wow, es increíble estar aquí. Impresionante. Increíble. Hasta el beso al escudo es un calco. Es sueño de niño. Desde que soy un niño, tenía únicamente un sueño. Que era jugar en el Madrid. Jugar con el Real Madrid. Uno, dos, tres. ¡A la Madrid! Quiero decir las gracias primero al presidente Florentino Pérez que tenía confianza en mí desde el primer día. Pasaba mucha cosa, pero quiero decir gracias. Quiero también decir las gracias a todas las personas que trabajan para que llego aquí. Yo sé que fue un trabajo difícil, pero ahora ganamos. Estoy aquí, soy un jugador de Madrid. Veo, veo ahora a toda mi familia, están feliz. Veo a mi mamá que está llorando, veo a toda mi familia.
es un día increíble para mí, increíble. Desde que soy un niño, tenía únicamente un sueño, fue de jugar aquí. Y de ahora estar aquí significa mucho para mí. Por eso quiero decir gracias también a todos los madridistas, porque desde muchos años me dan mucho cariño, mucho amor. Eh, eso se va directamente en mi corazón. Y por eso quiero decir gracias a todo el mundo de estar aquí hoy. Ahora tengo un otro sueño. Eh, este sueño es de cumplir. Quiero cumplir un otro sueño, es de estar a la altura de la historia de este club, el mejor del mundo. Puedo decir una cosa, es que me voy a dar la vida para este club y para este escudo. La verdad que tengo mucha emoción, ¿no? porque seguro que, que yo hablo mucho, pero significa mucho para mí de estar aquí hoy. ¿Sí? Charlie, he said he's going to give his, his life for the club and for the badge. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Eddie, whoa! Oh, he's, he's, he's loved the club for... This is one of those cases of I've loved you from afar. He's... He actually trialed at Real Madrid as a kid, went to the Banabao. There are pictures of that, unfortunately. Pictures of that with who? No, there is the, so there are two pictures. Mm -hmm. His visit to Real Madrid for the trials and all of that. And then the separate one with Cristiano Ronaldo mm -hmm. there. And there's but, a video of him, you know, when they were playing at the academy with Zinedine Zidane yeah. coaching him. So he has always had that ambition. And I think that it perhaps had a lot to do with going there for that trial as a kid and all of that, having that experience, it was, it was a surreal experience. That is something that is going to play on everybody's mind. I'm very happy for him. Um, of course, PSG wouldn't be very happy, but he's paid his dues. And this week, I was listening to his mother, and I thought, this man is a lucky man because... So he's going to get, what, roughly 100 million euros in bonuses spread over the length of his contract, so possibly 20 million each year for the next five years. But with PSG... He's still taking them to courts if they don't pay up the 80 million euros in bonuses that they owe him. Plus, apparently, some, at some points this year, PSG refused to pay his wages. Um, and so the mother had said she hopes the matter doesn't get to court. They just want, she just wants the two parties to sit down, have a conversation about this, and acknowledge that this isn't a case of a gentleman's agreement. These are contractual entitlements. He, you signed the contract. He uh, held his end of the bargain, because he could have left P PSG three years ago for Real Madrid. He could have left even last year, but he stayed under the contract. And now it's time for PSG to under the end of the bargain. But all of that will be behind him. I don't think any of these things, even if it goes to court and it becomes protracted, is going to affect him. He has a whole team that is handling that. Where his ambition is, where his focus is going to be, is on the pitch and Real Madrid and delivering on the pitch for them and even outside, because there are going to be commercial implications as well for Real Madrid. When they make signings like this, they do so with the view of looking at milking it and getting as much value from everything possible. And as we speak now, if you take away Cristiano, if you take away Messi, Mbappe has the biggest global brand in football now. Mm -hmm. And for Real Madrid, this is essentially going to be an extension of what is consistent with their sporting and economic policy over the last 20 years, be it Florentino Perez, Whoever has been in charge of the club, they have sought to go for the best performance in the sport and the guys who also drag or attract the biggest eyeballs and following. Zach, let me, let me ask you this. If you were Ancelotti, how would you line up next season with Mbappe? With Mbappe, of course, Mbappe is always going to start. He's going to lead the, the attack. Um, I think the attack is going to be a little flexible. You're not going to see him maybe being the typical number nine that Rasmus Hildebrand will be playing. Maybe they might be drifting a bit. You know, but Mbappe will lead the attack. You have Vinicius Jr. Uh, on the right wing, or on the left wing. You might have Rodrigo on the other side. Then in midfield, of course, you have Jude Bellingham in there, just behind Kylian Mbappe. You have Alvedo and Chouameni over there. Then, you know, right back, Kavaya is still available. Left back is still, you can, you know, use Kamavinga in there or use, uh, what's his name? Felan Mendy. Uh, Mendy. You know, and you still have the center back. Rudiger is available. Alba is available. And Courtois is in post. Lunin is likely to leave, and maybe Kepa will come and, bah! 
you know, when there is difficulty, you come mm -hmm. and sit inside it. So it's all set for Real Madrid, but there are so many young talents in there that I'm scared for who might go, you know, missing. The likes of Adagula, the likes of Hendrik, who might come in there, and not sure if they'll have the patience to wait for their chance to come. And maybe that's where the skill of Carl Ancelotti comes in, because you know he has, he knows how to manage these players. See how he managed Vinicius Junior when he came, wanting to play, and yet not entirely ready. Mm -hmm. So I'm just hoping that Carl Ancelotti will be able to manage them really well. These are young players, but ambitious young players. Because look at it, we are talking about the Ballon d'Or. We're going to talk about it very soon. And in that team alone, you have at least. Three players who, at the back of their mind, you know, at the start of this season, we're hoping they win it and maybe hoping that they might be on the podium. Vinicius <coughs> Jr. He might be on the podium. Joe Bellingham hoping he might be on the podium. Likewise, Kylian Mbappe. So how are you going to manage these ambitious young players as the season goes? Because each of them wants to score goals. It's only goals and winning that. Because what is guaranteed is that Real Madrid will win the titles. But how will you distinguish yourself in each game to be able to become the star boy of Real Madrid? Because until last season, until this season, the start of the season where Kylian Mbappe is coming, we know that Kylian Mbappe, uh, Jude Bellingham, was pretty much the star boy of Real Madrid. Before that, it was Vinicius <laughs> Junior. We're going to next season where Kylian Mbappe is going to be the main man. And hopefully, Ancelotti will be able to treat them as his sons and manage them perfectly well. Other than that, you might have a you know, young chaos. Look, there is no question about Ancelotti's suitability to this job. It's, this is bread and butter. No, wait, Ada Gula and Hendrik, no, <laughs> what? What? They'll be angry or what? No, they'll be angry. These are young talent. There's no... Just wait. Look, Ancelotti has... Vinicius, Rodrigo, Kim, they waited. Ancelotti has Some managed... You guys still waiting. Ancelotti has managed more complex situations than this. Back in 2009, when he took over Chelsea, Chelsea had Michael Balak on their books, they had Frank Lampard, they had Deco Sousa, they had Michael Asien on their books. Mm. Chelsea were used to playing with two other bays, with Frank Lampard being the more advanced. Mm -hmm. Ancelotti found a way to make it work. He didn't play all four central midfielders in every game, but he found a way to make it work. He kept everyone happy. But more importantly, on the pitch, the team didn't suffer for having too much quality. Rules were clearly defined. And whenever any of these variables was, were introduced into the team, it didn't affect the balance of the team. And I think maybe the five, or four, five or four years before that at AC Milan, Ancelotti had a similar situation, not a problem. Mm. Tomasen, Giladino, and all of these crazy talents, a lot of the world-class players at that time, mm. from, and it wasn't just in attack, in midfield as well. That's what Ancelotti does. He will, he will take a situation that will be problematic for a lot of other managers and <clears throat> completely diffuse it and make it look as, as if there was... And often when he does, the, the success levels would, that he attains are simply incredible. Look, I don't remember, remember the last time any midfielder in La Liga had a sort of impact that Jude Bellingham had, in, purely in terms of match-winning ability for Real Madrid last season. Yeah. But at the start of the season, the question wasn't only about where Bellingham was going to fit. There was also a problem of the lack of goals because they did not replace Karim Benzema. That problem got exacerbated by the fact that Vinicius Jr. missed about two months or so of the first half. Yeah. But that was the period Real Madrid where they are devastating mm. best. Mm. And the, I believe that was the period they won the league. Mm. And so for me, everything Ancelotti has done in his career, just if this goes wrong, my guess is going to be that it's probably because of reasons other than Ancelotti. Yeah. And I don't think it will go wrong. And I think the benefit he also has is that he's got some really experienced players who are still with the team. Yeah. Having the contract of Luka Modric extended is really, well, really another good. Year. You know, Scott, the kind of guy that yeah. Vasquez is available. Cavaya is there. Courtois is still there, you know. And these are experienced players who can go and tell Hendrik, you know, if Hendrik is a Charlie member, we say, hey. hey. No, let's relax. relax. Even in Brazil, Hendrik was playing two minutes. <laughs> he knows it's, he's it's not at Real Madrid that... Mm -hmm. he knows. The example of those players that you mentioned is very important. Remember Rodrigo's very first game against Bayern Munich in preseason? He scored a free kick. Real Madrid were 3-0 down. And according to Rodrigo, he willed a way to go and celebrate. And Marcelo came to drag him and said, we don't do that here at Real Madrid. Not when you are losing. Mm. Even if it is 2-1 or 2-0, and then you score what halves the deficit. The mindset is that we, we have to win every game. So you don't celebrate consolation goals or levelless. Yeah. So all of those players are going to now be the institution memory, the extension of the coach's authority, who will ensure that the players 
stay true to the principles that have made Madrid successful. Charlie, let's see what my bowling goalies are saying in the message box. Quick, 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 quick. This one says, I'm um, KG watching you live from uh, Bruce Electric House in Pristia. He says, keep the fire burning. Uh, please give us update on Nico Williams. Charlie, I should move your head. <laughs> give us an update on Nico Williams and Danny Omo to Barcelona. Greetings uh, to Carles and Akwesi Walker. Yeah, now I know your head inside. You the Barcelona. <laughs> you guys want him, so keep wanting him. But it looks like it's it looks like it's conk. Barca wants yeah. Nico Williams. Oh, there is something there. Yeah, yeah we understand. I think it's one of those views we'll have to wait to see how. I yeah. think what may be problematic is that Barca at the moment cannot pay a release clause. Mm. So they probably have to negotiate for a fee that is higher and then. But Nico also wants to go. So oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it will happen. I think that's the advantage for Barca. No, it should happen because we can't have Mbappe and Co. and then <laughs> Barca. We want Lamine and Nico. Lamine, Yamin. That one will be. Next season, La Liga will be. Uh, uh, good morning. He says, please tell United fans to stop hyping these players. Uh, he said, they still have uh, Chelsea. They still have the Chelsea fraud on their hands. <laughs> Hope you're having a great day. Oh, okay. yeah, we're having a great day. But who's that? Talking about Mason Mount. Mason Mount. But your whole team is a fraud. Eh, no, no, he said, no, the whole team is a fraud. How can you say that? Oh. The entire team is a Zuku team. Uh -huh. What do you mean by the entire team? Zuku, Banza, Zuku. Let's Zuku, Banza. See, I'm going to play conference. Which one is the entire team is a Zuku? Where is, the, where is my message? Where is my message? Uh, England the England job. job. He says, Tuko will be a good fit. Uh, the English FA uh, should not be thinking about giving it to Eddie Howe, po uh, Pochettino, Lee Carsley. And even my friend, Graham Potter, he said this to the uh, not, 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 not. He's Ogidiba Gallery, watching inside Taifa. I don't, think, I don't think Thomas Sticker wants an England job. I mean, definitely not. You might be definitely surprised. Not. Maybe Graham Potter might be interested. It will, it will Maybe Pochettino too. Potter no rich. It will shock people. Yeah. Uh, shout outs to the team this morning. Big ass to my man. Yeah, my, my, my guy, my guy. Gasagate is the most cruelest coach of the tournament. Uh, how can you have these quality players? And still fail to play good football. Indeed, he has won. Uh, football has won, um, and not the usual English uh, media noise. Man United should not be overjoyed because they still have Onana and Maguire in their squad. Chelsea all the way. Please, you, you can't tell us how to feel. All the players. You know the, the funniest part of Razak's submission today. He said Rich James is back and he's fit. James. Yeah, James you, you'll go back to his friends in the medical. Who said you go back? You go back to his friends. You know, do you know what we've done to his James in the in the in the in, in, in the period he was out? See, is the hope that <laughs> the drown. Is the is hope that kills. Kills. Do you know the bitters the guy has drunk? Every season, we are yeah, James bitters. Is back. But I'm going to I'm catch you. Yeah. I'm going to catch you. I'm going to honey in our whole city. I'm going to catch you. His keyboard did not happen. His keyboard did not happen. Richard says Mbappe will be a flop just like Hazard and Real Madrid. We know where you are. We know where you are from, Richard. Uh, you will give me my stone this coming season. The Ballon d'Or will lose his credibility and confidence hey. if Jude Bellingham wins. <laughs> He's just an overhyped player. We saw his performance in the Euros without any impact. He said, what is Diogo Dallo still doing at Man United? Assetti. Keep Interesting. calm. Assetti. Keep calm. We are now pruning the Assetti. seat. Assetti. Let the season start. Uh, we are now Prince pruning the Sandeman. seat. Keep calm. He says, why are you not talking about the best team in the world, uh. Manchester City? Uh, yeah, Man City assigned one of my favorite players, uh, yeah. Savio, aka Savinio. Savino. Yeah, lefty, Bobo, Savio, Mede. But he can't play, he's not better than Anthony. Uh, <laughs> this one is coming from <laughs> Faiz uh, Bricini, Simba, from Wa. He says, uh, the way Mbappe, the crave for UCL, uh, make him be. My Real Madrid's hurricane. Oh, no, no, no. Mbappe has won trophies in his life. He can be. Mbappe has won. He's a World Cup winner. Yeah, yeah I mean, Charlie. Hurricane has never won trophy before. Hurricane. Top, top, top. Move your head, la. Oh. Uh, this one says, good morning, Danny. I hope Mbappe flops. <laughs> we saw it with Hazard. And now the Madrid team, uh, everyone is a star. So they won't allow him to come and steal the show. So everyone will be doing wicked things. Barca too should look fast. And kill the Omo and the Williams deal quick. Tofik from Adenta. Has that flop? But Real Madrid still won Champions League. So <laughs> that thing is actually so we. Uh, big congratulations to Spain uh, for winning the uh, Euros. And big shout outs to the team. Uh, Evans from Spintex. Chai Spintex, you get light. I won't know. Because I won't come in after. So we'll play game after. Uh, Ubuntu. Oh! Ubuntu. He says. Hey, Charlie, I can't put on hey. uh, Vinas. Venus. Atu hey. Atu <laughs> <laughs> upon all the Venastrophobia teams you know, 
You skip them all to call Madrid a POP mouth team. He says, assembling crime. Uh, so the, the POP at the end will explain the Venustrophobia. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure it means somebody will shine. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody will shine. Alaji Hamza from Fake Farm, he says, good morning. Uh, truth be told, I'm currently more than the word happy for Manchester United. Alaji Hamza! <laughs> United has set it. He says, uh, but at least we need more. Thank you. Someone who can bang in more goals for us. I want to see Rashford lift his game next season. I love him so much. I want to see him back to his highest form for my United. I mean, I've washed my hands from Rashford. Yeah, I've washed my hands from him. If he no disappointment. Fine, if he doesn't do well, he's fine. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, this one says, I, I believe Mbappe will hit it at Real Madrid. Let's hope Vinicius and Rodrigo can connect with him properly. Let's also pray he stays Injury free. Uh, Ghana from Ibuakwa. He says, if Real Madrid fails to, uh, fails to replace Tony Cruz this season, it will hurt them. Wow. Balance in the midfield positions is what is important, not attack. <coughs> uh, Cruz is irreplaceable. You just have to find a different way of playing. I mean, there's, there's, you don't need to stress yourself going to look for. Masad will win without him. Why That's the point. One without Ronaldo, the one without uh, 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 Zidane and all, all of them. People. Zach! Yeah, man. They say you should ask me who win Ballon d'Or. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a big, big debate. I saw your videos that you did for It's people. not a debate, yeah. it's straightforward. I don't know. I saw, I, I, saw, I saw the videos. The guys did some videos, I think, in the course of the week. It was early in the week, right? Yeah. And they were talking about, you know, those that want to win the Ballon d'Or. I just was mentioning some name, but this guy went far, far. Some Argentine player, B way, Charlie, he chopped us. Ah, but you said Copama. Relax. You, you I said Copama. I, I, I don't mention anybody in him. I beg. Nobody should put Cop Copama did well, but we saw guys. So I gave mafia the guy for heroes. So should he win Ballon d'Or? No. Ah, no, Bola. Copama, no. Copama is. Bola. I mean, come on. We have to be honest. Copama is not even in the cut for Ballon d'Or. So, guys, let's talk about it though. Uh, Ballon d'Or debate. Uh, at the moment, it looks like the top three is looking like is looking like Vinicius, Jude, Bellingham, Rodri, but. Danny Cranton has one more player in the mix, in contention, and then who is that player? Football has become very dishonest. So these days, we look at the club you play for, the noise that club can make in the media, and then they push their, their candidates into everybody's face and force us to force it down our throats. Mm. You can't look at what Lautaro has done this season and say he's not, doesn't have a legit shout to be top two on that podium. He won the Serie A. He was best player in Syria. He was top scorer in Syria. Uh, 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 Milan won the Inter won the Super Cup. He scored the winner in the Super Cup. He was top scorer in the Copa America. He won the Copa America. He scored the winner in the Copa America final. What against should he do? The only competition that Lautaro underperformed in was the Champions League. Yeah. That's all. When you look at Vinicius, Vinicius is running the La Liga. He was he was okay. Real Madrid basic guy already established a gap before Vinicius came back from his injury. Even took time for him to settle in. Vinicius' season was all Champions League. He flopped at the, uh, at the Copa America. He didn't do anything. He went to dive, was looking for penalty. He dived, they caught him. He got yellow carded, unnecessary yellow carded, left his team. They win the most important game of the competition for Brazil against Uruguay. He was missing because he was joking in the previous game. Brazil went out in the quarter final of a Copa. Quarter final of a Copa. Which he didn't play, right? Which he didn't play. Why? He's not Brazilian. I wasn't in the team. <laughs> but he didn't play. Why didn't he play? Because yeah. he went to get an unnecessary yellow card. Mm. Yes, that is poor discipline. Bellingham also was just walking in the use. Walking. He didn't do anything. Walking in the use, show through, reach the final, flopped again in the final, and England lost. He's got bicycle kicks, so what? They are telling me he's got bicycle kicks. Remove that thing from my ears, you say. He's got bicycle kicks, so what? I don't listen to anybody. He's got bicycle kicks, so what? He's got bicycle kicks against Slovakia. Only to go and reach next round, he didn't do anything. Following round, he didn't do anything. He reached the final. One year, she. He had a very good La Liga season. Very good La Liga campaign. Where he rightly saw one player of the year. But in the Champions League, after the group stages, one year, she. Vinicius carried them. Uh, uh, use, one year, she. Copa de Ori, one year she. Lautaro is the only one who had direct influence in all the trophies that his team won. Mm. I've mentioned it. Mm. You can't tell me just because he plays for Inter Milan. Look, I bet you, if Lautaro had done this, playing for Barcelona, 
playing for Real Madrid, playing for Manchester United, Liverpool, Bayern Munich. Nobody will even come close. <coughs> Nobody. Now tell me I'm lying. Actually, is it like Tell me I'm lying. Tell me that if Lautaro played for Man U or played for Liverpool, played for Real Madrid, and had won the league, was best player in the league, was top scorer in the league, had gone to Copa, was top scorer in Copa, had played the Super Cup, scored the winner in the Super Cup, you tell me that he doesn't deserve a shout. Ah! Right now, it's a team you play for. They Actually, support he, their own <clears throat> He merely convinced me. Mm. He's right in parts. He's right when he says he deserves to be... On. He deserves to be in there with yeah. Okay, now let me listen to what He's right saying. when he says... <laughs> <laughs> He's right when he says he probably deserves to be on the podium. I'll put him there ahead of Jude Bellingham. Because mm. Bellingham was monstrous in La Liga. But his influence ended there. He flopped at the Euros. In the Champions League, his impact was limited to the group stage. So those two will go against him. Then you have Vinicius Jr., his own teammates outperformed him in La Liga, in Jude Bellingham. In the Champions League, his influence was often felt or mostly seen in the knockout phase. Copa America is where, for me, he, he lost it because the award should never go to a cheat. And that, that's what Vinicius tried to do. He tried to cheat the system. He got caught and he let his team down mm. because ultimately he was suspended, couldn't play in the quarters, they were out. That, that's a big blot on him. Lataro Martinez as well. Brilliant everywhere else but the Champions League. But, and you see, when it comes to these, Don't you this see, is... So who are you choosing? You Rodri! Ro he, Rodri, Rodri is the one guy... Rodri was good in the league. He I didn't win Champions it. League. He didn't win... Rodri FA won the league. He won Euros. He, he won brilliant the European two. Championships. Brilliant everywhere and too. was and excellent in the run-up to the league. Mm. Was excellent in the Champions League. Was, was he saying what Champions League? For Manchester City, in the Champions and League. And where they, did they reach? They ran... So, no, I'm not wait, the so because they, they did, because they didn't win, what? But in terms relative to your lateral Martinez, he fouled. I mean, I didn't mention Champions League in my team. If you want to make it about it where did you win? If we say in Champions League, why didn't you win? But lateral Martinez got to where? Why didn't you win? He where won did lateral that Madrid game? Could where did lateral Martinez? Charlie, let's go break. You are not saying where did lateral Martinez get to? In what? In the Champions League. We all didn't win. Round That's all. We all didn't win. Simple. Rodri we is all winning the ball. So da Daniel win. is clearly choosing Lataro Martinez and Achu is choosing Rodri. Who are you choosing? You can send us a message. We will have to take a quick break. We won't come back. Uh, we want to see what we can do, some FIFA things, and we'll see what's up. Achu is playing. Uh, they were trying to push it to me, but I'll be the referee. We'll be back. <laughs>
Welcome back. This is Prime Sports Extra. My name is Daniel Kranting. Victor Achuta Macro is here and Rasak Musba is here. Look, during the week, Achua has been talking plenty. Thursday, I caught him. I scored him six times in a row. He and some guy, the Sultan. I scored him. Click, 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 click. I just said you will not agree. So I said, okay, fine. In front of the whole world, let's come and play. And then we'll see this one is redemption time. In front of the whole world. So I'm coming to face Achu. Achu, show your controller. Show see. them. Uh -huh. See, I'm coming to see. face at you. Don't lie. So, hey, don't lie. This guy. Charlie, don't lie. Charlie, Charlie, Casa and Frama. Do, Casa and Frama. Let's go to the game. So, which team have you, you guys are playing? Oh, we are doing internationals. Because so, which we are one have you chosen? Oh, I've chosen France. You know, and you have chosen what? Germany. Germany. Yeah. So, France versus Germany. Brrr, start. Me and me are referring. Yanko. I go. I go squam. Uh huh. So. I go squam. I'm sure. Actually, he's a very interesting young man. Mm, I'm sure they will put their faces somewhere. On the screen also. So you see the way Achu is smiling. Achu is licking his lips. Allah. Achu is a very, very interesting young man. Mm. Mm. Maybe then think so. Yeah, yeah, then think so. Like, for me... Uh, but Achu is in possession now. Charlie, serious dribbles, oh. Quite. Uh, Germany, they say white, you know. France, they say blue, no. Hey, Charlie, France, I just want to know. You know they do it. Hmm. Danny is surging forward. Charlie, ever say, oh, Achu, I just want to know. Hmm. What do you say? Hey, Juman, oh, I no. Uh -huh. This guy, you know, be serious. Mm. What are you doing? Okay, okay. Kimmich. Charlie. Hey, you be very. Hey, Danny, Daniel, Daniel. Okay, yeah. Like a squad. Hey! <laughs> like a squad, bro. Hey! Oh, but Achu is doing well, very de uh, defensively. Achu is doing really well. Achu is the one playing in white. Those of you who are just joining us. And then Kranti is playing France in blue. And very, very, very good defensive job. Oh, wonderful dribble there by Achu. But then, Charlie, both are very well defensively organized. You look at it. Uh -huh. But with the spider of my face, Achu, no Achu, Achu make quiet. Achu, no, I saw. Achu, no, go talk. Over. Achu, make quiet. Achu, Achu is only talk. playing his half. People know you are here. Achu is only playing his half. I'm here to see Achu. Kasa him from out. Mm. Still in his half. Achu. Kasa him from out. Achu, no pass the center Pana. line. No, if I no sit like this. Achu, no pass the center line. If I no sit like this, I don't go fit play game. So if you, are, if you are not seeing what is happening in the studio, Dana Kranti has sat on the carpet. Yes. Uh, in an early Haaland my, post. But for those my. who don't know Daniel, mm. that's what he does when he gets nervous. Mm. See okay. See him, see him, see him. Say that's, that's what, what Daniel does. does yeah, when like he when he gets nervous, he has to sit on the floor. Zach, you know what? Give, give me a favor. He has mm. to give me a favor. Well. Count to one to ten. Ah, you count score. Count to ten. Yeah. Okay. One. Two. Oh, you are delayed the counting. Three. Quick, 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 quick. Four. Quick, 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 quick. Five. Oh, Nkunku. Six. Oh, Zach, you know him, eh? Nkunku. Unkunku. Eight. Unkunku. Yes, Yanko. Unkunku. Nine. Unkunku. Eight. Unkunku. Yes, Yanko. Unkunku. Eight. Unkunku. Ah, like a squad guy, yo. Hey. Yes, Yanko, like this. Like a squad. Nearly. I'm fat. I'm fat. I'm fat. I'm fat. I'm fat. Nearly. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Hey, it's one of Daniel Daniel, look at where the post, post is. Why you guys say I'm squam? The guy's my brother. Why you guys post it? Look at where Daniel is. Where the post hey. is and where Daniel is. Since when did you become hey. Christmas? Oh, yeah. Atu is still here to play a shot on target. Atu is still here to play. Charlie, Daniel's goalkeeper well, has been sleeping the whole day. Please. He's been sleeping the whole day. Atu has just been defending. Oh, he couldn't have went the keeper. He's just been defending. The guy's sound too much. But so far, so good. 32 minutes played. They now just came to the second minute yeah, mark. Get one Sané. And, uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> Why, you didn't fear? Mm. OK, so. Oh! Wassan, Wassan, you didn't know. Oh! oh. Griezmann! Why you didn't fear? Griezmann! Griezmann. Yeah. Griezmann. <laughs> Ah, you are the one doing the attack. You are worried about what I will do on the counter. Ah, when you enjoy that counter position, you need to make it count. Yeah, so we are nearing the first half minute mark. It's France versus Germany. Atu versus Daniel Cranton here on Prime Sports. You are the good Southgate. Ah, yeah. But Southgate, Southgate be a role model. So far, so good. This man, them day. Oh, what did you do? Southgate be a role model. Just as it was looking promising. It looks, it looks like Daniel is getting confused, Charlie. He's getting confused <laughs> about the location of the post. Getting confused. Actually, enter my half, if you ever enter my half. Enter okay. my half! Okay, okay. Have it. All right. Actually, he's progressing. Hey! He's worth progressing. Sunny. Actually, Germany have it back now. <laughs> Actually, do... And he has options available. Okay, okay. 
Okay, and she's getting close. Charlie, cross. Cross more, Nola. Oh. Okay, kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. First half. First half is up. First and half so is up. There it is. Goalless. The first half has come to half. an end here at the Orange uh, Pelotard. Why is it? Actually, no, but be, you see, Daniel did the change. But if you look at the way Daniel more, do more, me, I'm composed. Yeah. You see, Daniel make a count change the sitting position. Daniel make a count sack. Still, he's been fidgeting the whole time. He's been fidgeting. He changed the position. He said the carpet is convenient. Options in the middle. But he has been. Yes, on the fact of pressure. Say, give somebody couch. Then he say, easy. Nah, you know the line. He wants it for the floor. Well, we gave it the big build up, but he didn't quite deliver on his promise. Time day. Time day. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Ah, you did. And so let's move to And so let's move to And so let's move to Is he going to be cross with himself? It right. certainly wasn't his best half of all. Slightly off the pace, uh, and he Daniel gave Prance the ball away too easily at times. Beaten, but we know he can do much better, so I'm expecting more from him in the second the 45. And so far, so good. Hey, what's it? 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 What's Kylian Mbappe, 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 Mbappe. 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 They always they talk to you for you to know you shot. They say that. They say what's up. And France pushing forward okay. with options okay. available. Oh. But nothing no, comes no, of it. No, 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 no. See, respect us. Okay. No, it's not it's not going well. It's not going well. Viewers, it's not oh, at two, two, two pass. Oh, at two. Triangle, nah, no. There's something wrong with the pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disappointing for France yeah. to give it away. There's something wrong with the back. That two, pass was on. No, 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 no. I see we beg. Is it? I know they like players like this. I see we beg. Okay. 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 Hey, right, really is, well. My God, Daniel can't see too. Ah. The seat is too hot for Daniel. Ah. Put the camera on. Okay, you. okay. Put the on here. So the pressure is on Daniel now. Charlie, pressure on that Daniel. Oh, pressure, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Pressure never do matter. Came like, on the corner. It's a little bit of a drip. I'm gonna make a throw. Hey, count on your payo. Count on you, so it's so. Griezmann, Griezmann, Mbappe, Mbappe, Nkunku, 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 Mbappe. Hey! hey. Oh, Something I've lost my eye defender. Well, they haven't created hey. too much like Charlie, but the give him an ID. ID. 76 minutes here. blade. I can't wait for two minutes. Hey! 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 This hey. be the hey. first time he's hey. hey. seen hey. my keeper. Okay. okay. Corner kick. Corner kick, Bill. Corner kick, Bill. Ah, wait. Exactly this way. You see? Yanko. 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 Hey! Hey! Charlie, press her now. Press her now. Press her now. Another corner kick. Killian! All right, Yanko, Griezmann. Killian! One, one ball. Okay, Mbappe. Inside the foot. Okay, Yanko, one ahead. Oh, Charlie, over the bar. Respect, respect over the bar. Respect over the bar. Okay. All right, so we've got like 10 minutes more to go to the end of the game. Still goalless. Oh, we better go, Anna. Mm. It's not Christmas. Ah. 10 minutes to go. Mm, mm, mm. Tension ah, building ah, ah. still okay. level. Okay, Atu, 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 Atu. Oh, well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, but actually, Charlie, viewers, are you impressed? Are you Kukuku. impressed? A very I, good tackle. You always are you impressed? Okay, we got like seven, seven, seven so minutes to here. go to the I end of the game. The about but it needs two a moment minutes to the end of the show. Of so let's see. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it!
Asco! 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 Asco!